Welcome, contestants. It's now time for the final WNG challenge. Also, viewers, just a quick reminder there was no voting for this episode, but however, there was a bet. If your bet is correct by the end of this episode, you win a certain prize. Now, keep an eye out for who wins, because I might not mention it in the end. Let's see who's the winner. Is it gonna be good old Frostbite or is it gonna be Bossy Wooly Warrior? Okay, Meowsles, for the last time, I am not Bossy. Yes, you are. We have quite an audience watching us today. If you're even listening to me, I just want to say you're going to get crushed. Huh? What was that? I just I just love hearing the sound of winning while someone who, who's a total idiot who's talking to me. For today's contest, each contestant must have a car. So, I allowed them to spend at least $500 to buy an ATK because they're like around 200 bucks. And Wooly Warrior is just decorating hers a little bit. Hey, Wooly Warrior. Oh, um, oh, it's you. Excuse me? Am I just you now? Uh, oh, I didn't mean that. I'm, I'm sorry. But it's, it's okay. Um, I just want to say wish you luck in the final challenge. I know that it, I know that you've been for a lot lately with Tinsel Toes, but she asked me to tell you that, um, she wishes you, you luck, and she roots for you. Really? Yep. Uh, it's a little apology from her. Aw, how sweet of her. Thank you, but I'm just in the middle of doing my car right now, so... Oh, sorry. I'll let you be. Ooh, nice car that you have there, Willy Warrior. Well, my car is clearly better. It, you've done nothing to yours! Uh, oh, uh... No, no, I just, I just painted it white, that's all. Okay, you are actually very stupid. Says the one who bullies Tinsel Toes. Well, little do you know that Tinsel Toes is actually routing for me, not you. She can route for whoever she wants, but... She'll never forget about that. Okay, I had enough of your blabbering, Mr. Frostbite. I had enough of your blabbering, Mrs. Wooly. Don't call me Mrs. Wooly. Oh, really? Mrs. Wooly, Mrs. Wooly, Mrs. Wooly, Mrs. Wooly, Mrs. Wooly, Mrs. Wooly. Okay, you need to shut up and go work on your car. It's a mess. More like your car is the one who's that's a mess. Just go away. All right, all right, well. Introducing you to the Frostmobile. It has a bunch of snow on it. I even painted the wheels to make it look like snow. And best of all, I painted it a little bit more blue just to make it look like it's not just a plain old white car. So, what do you think? It looks bad. Yep, it's bad. This only took me like 10 hours of work, you know? Just to paint a bunch of spots on it. Okay, seriously, you need to shut up. Oh, shut up, and you both listen to me for once. You have five minutes to get ready for your final challenge. Chop, chop. Five minutes, huh? You don't say. Am I hearing things? No, it's just you hearing things. Oh, I guess on that case, I might have to go to the doctors. Not before the final challenge. Uh, okay, 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 fine, I won't. Jesus. You two, you better listen up. 
because I'm about to explain your final challenge. So, here's how it works. It will be a triathlon competition. So, it will consist of three different types of events. Swimming, running, and finally, racing all the way to the end. The first part of the race is swimming. So, you'll start on here. You'll dive down, swim through the ocean, around the island, at least one time. Well, not, not at least, I mean, you, you can't swim more than once because what's the point? Swim at least, well, why am I saying at least? Swim one time around the island, back to this point. Then, follow the orange torches all the way around the island. And remember, you must touch every single torch along the way. So be very careful, because if I catch you skipping a torch, then it's an automatic victory for the other team, well, person. And the last part is racing. You've got your own golf carts, right? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, you will then get into your golf cart, and then make your way all the way down to these two sets of torches. The first one across this line of torches, well, only two, will win WNG and will receive the prize, which is unlimited imagination. Wait, so it's unlimited imagination, like you can through? That's what the man's saying. Uh, okay, okay. That's a really good prize. I could get $10,000 worth of Wick Burgers. Yum. Get $10,000 for skiing lessons. Just to, you know, get used to the whole thing because I kind of suck at skiing. Skiing? I do skiing. You should probably come to my gym and not a commercial during the final challenge. But Wooly Warrior. You already said that in the last episode. No advertisements during a challenge. Although I already did it once. I, uh, I meant, uh, oh, oh, you're right. Will you still come to my gym, Willy Warrior? Uh, no. Oh, come on! According to your website, your prices are so, so overpriced. What do you mean? For one dumbbell, it's only like $250. Think about what you just said. What? It's simple. $250 for one dumbbell. Oh. Oh, um. Oh, uh, that, that's for no reason. It's not just a simple cash grab. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not just a, um, you know, <laughs> overpriced item. It's supposed to be, uh, something for me to buy. Hmm, you're kinda sus, Frostbite. What am I sus of? I'm just standing here next to my golf cart, just doing nothing, and just staring to this camera and uploading this video to YouTube for some random guy's content. Yeah, oh wait, I, I'm, I'm looking at the camera too. Okay, enough of messing around with the camera. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. Ooh, the camera's now on me! Hi, YouTube! Oh my god, stop it, little whip. Alright, we'll pan the camera over. that's better. Now, contestants, get in line, because the challenge is about to start. Oh, the challenge is about to start, I hear. Mm-hmm, and you're gonna get clapped, my dude. Uh, excuse me? I said, you're gonna get clapped, my dude. If your ears weren't blocked by those earphones, hey, I got those from flying, um, uh, flying airplanes. Uh, aren't you a mount mountain hiker? Uh, yeah, liar. Yeah, but I, I also fly planes too, and helicopters. <laughs> okay, I believe that. Okay, thank you. Oh, <sighs> why do you think I'm be I'll be wearing those right now? What if you like talking to some secret spy or stuff? Hey, Frostbite, get back! No, not now! Oh, sorry. Who is that? Uh, uh, no one, no one. It was no one. It's just my boss of the weightlifting Frostbite, um, sanctuary. Oh, um, okay. Okay, I'm in line now. What do I do? Okay, you guys just wait until I give you the signal to go. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared, you know. Why be scared when you can be brave? Brave of what? 
you know, the whole electric traps over there. Are you serious, Frostmate? But, but really, remember what happened last time when I tried to drive? Oh, okay, okay, I, I remember that. Yeah, and also, you know, swimming is not really my thing, so... Wait, but at the start, you said that you were a fantastic sw swimmer. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, liar. Also, I just want to point out that why did you not save Tinsel Zoes when she was drowning? Uh, oh, oh, um, I was trying to tell Luminos to back off, but I didn't know that Tinsel Zoes can't swim. Of course she can't swim. She's a Dumbo. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but she's not a Dumbo. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, you heard me. She's not a Dumbo. I'm about to put you guys into a flashback. Now. <coughs> oh, wow. Are you okay? <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> um, do we need to call a medic? Um, no thank you. I don't need a medic for now. Wow, your voice has changed. Yeah, I finally got rid of that stupid voice box of mine and change it to a new, completely new voice. Okay, does that mean that you're smarter now? Yeah, I can count in 38. Um, 38, then 70, 76, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Although she might act stupid sometimes, she's actually not. She's an actual smart boy. Or smart girl. Uh, uh, I don't... I forgot about that. Uh, oh, oh my God! Um, I'm so sorry for calling you a Dumbo Tinsel Toads. If you can hear this, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so for that, every time that you call her a Dumbo equals one punch in the face. We'll do that later. Yeah, you better do that later because I've been waiting here for so long. Oh my God! For frick's sakes! Hey, before we go, I just want to say good luck. Oh, good luck to you too. But I just hope that I win. And I just hope that I win. Okay. Go Frostbite, my man! Thank you, Singularity. Um, also, I'm sorry for not swimming with you at the beach. These are my brand new clothes and they're going to get wet for the first time right now. It's alright. Remember, believe in yourself. Oh. I gotta believe. Yes! Watch out for your raging superpowers, though. Yes! Thank you so much for mentioning it. I'm gonna use my raging superpowers. Alright, swimmers. On the flag. Go! 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 Aha! I'm ahead of you still, Willy Warrior. No, you're not. I'm about to catch up in a second. And I'm slowing down for some reason. I don't know why. Wait, what the hell? Mousel! Aha. Uh -huh. As I would always say, chiller grenades always makes challenges harder. And that's why you use them? Yeah, correct. Oh, God. Watch out, Wooly Warrior. Thanks for the boost, Mousels. Okay, I need to catch up. Give me a boost, Mousels! Come on, no, give me a boost. Thank you, Mousels. Oh, come on, that's no fair! The contestants are now tied up. They're now back at the torches. They're now going on to the second event, which is running. The torches must lead over here. Come on, I almost there. I'm almost there. Get me up there. Get me up there. Ah! Take that, Frostbite. Ah! 
No! No! Aha! No! No! Okay, so he didn't push me back this far. What the hell am I looking at? Hello, Mr. Frostbite. May I please take your order? Uh, no thanks. I'm not staying in. I have to go. Oh, sorry. Okay. I need to get up there. Ah, so long, you woolly mammoth. I'm not a mammoth. I'm a human, remember? No, you're not. You're a mammoth. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. I'm now back in the voting area. Thank you so much, Mousels, for giving me a boost! Now on to the final event, which is racing, where they have to get their car all the way to the very end to win WNG. Alright, here we go. First attempt. Oh yeah, I'll also be using shockwave grenades. Oh god, this is going to be a bit difficult. Oh, no! Wow! I think this is something that is going to go for 10 hours again, you know? Yep, I 100% agree with you, Frostbite. I usually don't. Well, why don't you agree with me sometimes? Because I honestly think that you're, you know, not an honest person. Oh, uh... Just for that, you're going to get shockwaved. No! Wow! The end was right there. Come on. Also, I want to die. Oh my god, I suck at driving. See? That just proves it all. Okay, come on, Frostbite. You're almost there. Oh, come on. Haha, <laughs> take that, Frostbite. Now, to win WNG and win the unlimited imagination. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And I got flipped off again. Great. Okay, Frostbite, keep going. What? What? What did you say about using boogie bombs? I didn't say anything. It was a secret. Uh, no! Mousels? You son of a gun. Oh, luckily, I always keep these on me. Or else this challenge would not be, you know... That, that fun. You're calling this fun? Yeah, it is fun. Why not? Well, not for us. Well, yes for me. Come on, you're almost at the end, Willy Warrior. No! Oh, come on! Go, Frostbite! You can do it! Thanks, Singularity. Alright, let's win this game for once and for all. I come in second every single season and now ah no oh my god I was just about to say that this season I will win no you're not I will win I'll get in the car with you frostbite just to give you a bit more support wow your support actually does work thanks little whip you're welcome all right now to flip this car over how do I how do I do this okay there we go Alright, time to get back onto the road. Well, not the road, the uh, platform. Woo! Oh. Alright, backwards driving, I guess. No, not today, Wooly Warrior. Oh, come on! And you know what I'm gonna do. I honestly hate you, Mousels, for that. Look, Mousels, I have my own car. Uh, Mousels! Mousels! Don't try a little whip. Please, just don't. Or else you'll get knocked off by Mousels. Yeah, Mousels, this is not really fair. This is going to take 10 hours again. Well, it might not take 10 hours. It will, I bet. Come on, you guys. You're almost at the end. Yeah, but, you know, he's going to keep knocking us back, you know. Yep, exactly. Oh, don't even try it, Mousels. I take that back. I take back what I just said so badly. What the hell? Mousels, when is this going to stop? We've been doing it for 10 hours again. Never. It will never stop until there's one winner. Of course, of course. Ah! No! Stop it, Mousels. 
No. I hate you so much. Okay, Frostbite, you need to get back. Come on. Get on the car. Now just drive. Just drive. Just ignore me, Hustles. Just drive forward. Oh, ignoring me is not gonna do anything, Frostbite, you know. Come on. No. Hustles. Really? Yep, I had to do it. I went out of the island by accident and lost all my island, uh, items, I mean. No, Mousels! Mousels, please! Ah! No! You're so annoying. Come on, Frostbite! You got this! No! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god. Okay, time to activate. Raging superpowers. Oh man, it didn't work. Alright, so if I didn't... If the raging powers didn't work, I just gotta believe in myself and try harder. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, come on! How long is this gonna go on for, Mousels? Because I'm getting quite tired of it. This goes on for another 10 hours, so enjoy this little time lapse. It's just not gonna be long at all. Okay, I put in a wall right in front of you guys. Well, it's no longer there. But you can still um, see it in your vision, but I can't. But, the first person to cross the line, and I'm not going to throw any items, wins WNG. Wish you luck, Wooly Warrior. Wish you luck too, Frostbite. 3, 2, 1, GO! And the winner of WNG is... Wooly Warrior! I, I can't believe it! I actually want to seize it! Yes! No! Psych it again? Oh my god! I'm gonna have a panic attack! Let's calm down, calm down, Frostbite, calm down, calm down. No! I came second in every season! Calm down, Frostbite, calm down, calm down, it's okay! No, it's not okay! I came second in every season! Don't worry, Mousels, I got this. Frostbite? You really need to calm down, and you just have to, all you have to do is just say GG's. That's all. <laughs> no, I will not calm down. Come on, Frostbite. <sighs> GG's. Now that's a man right there. See, losing in contest is no big fuss, but you know. Losing, you know, all your friends and stuff is, and it doesn't really matter if you come second in every single season. At least you gave it a sh your shot, but it doesn't really matter. Hmm. You're right. Thanks, Wooly Mario. Frostbite, you have officially been placed second for the third time already. Well, uh, actually, it's the... Uh, hang on, let me count. Okay, so I got second in season one. Got second in season two. I got second in yeah, third time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Frostbite. But anyways, Wooly Warrior, you are the winner of WNG, and your ultimate prize is unlimited imagination. I will give it to you in three, two, one. You shall now be able to ask for anything, and you shall get it. Alright, I will use it later though. And that concludes another season of WFS. I am your host, Mousels, and this was War for SCI Next Gen. Man, this season's been an awesome season. I know, right?
Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead on over to, you know, back home. I, I mean, you guys can go home if you want, or you can stay here. Boss, boss, are you there? Yes, we have the all clear. Is Mouse's gone? Uh, no, he's not. I want you to escort him out of the island right now. Okay. Oh yeah, um, so, uh, when am I gonna appear in a season? Oh, you will appear in next season, which is War for SCI Deluxe. Deluxe? Cool. Okay, okay, I know that we had the whole chat up, but Melsels, it's time for you to go. Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, yeah, it's time for you to go. Uh, we need, uh, we're gonna have a party on your yacht now. Uh, yes, I wish that you could have a party on your yacht. Oh, uh, really? A party? Oh, right. When, when's it going to be, though? Uh, it will be in, like, um, uh, uh, ah, yes, um, three days. Oh, okay, um, I'll be sure to be there. All right, thank you, Frostbite, and I will see you all later. Bye. Okay, I tried to help you out. What do you want? Okay, um, you know that person who was speaking to me over the headphones, right? Yeah, your boss from the gym? Well, I kinda lied. You lied again! Great! You're a great liar now? No, 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 no! It's something for really important. It was Astro Jack on the headphones. Wh what? Where is he? He should be here! No, um, he's actually with Ice Team. And Ice Key, too? Well, he never shows up in WNG episodes. But where are they? They're at their secret base right now. They're planning on doing something. Doing what in particular? Okay, they'll explain it to you when we get there. Alright, now come on. We need to hurry. Singularity and Little Whip. You two get on it as well. Okay, let me just quickly finishing, finish off showing my dances to Drift. Uh, no one cares about your dances. Oh, um, I'm sorry. And Drift, you can just go... die. Okay, finally, I can die. Okay, team, Astro Jack is calling us to his secret lair. Now let's go, hurry. Okay, um, is everyone here? Uh, Ripley? Um, can, do you want to explain what happened to you? Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, you turned into a man. Like, who, who did that? It was me, Singularity. I just thought I might give him, you know, a little bit of a new form. Bloop, bloop. Well, would you look at that, Ripster? You are a new form of yourself now. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Remember, always let the team live. Don't let it die. Bloop, bloop. Oh yeah, um, it does have some side effects though. His, like, blubby head could also turn into real human head, so he could be able to speak by then. Bloop bloop. Are we really gonna hear, um, Wibbly talk with their voice toying? No, we're not, you dumb. I mean, uh, no, we're not, Tinsel Toes. Oh, thank you for changing that. You're welcome. Anyways, Ice King. Wait. Where is Ice King? Ready go. I'm right here, you know. Am I dead to you or what? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's just I'm facing the other way right now. Attention, all members. You will now be known as crew members of our little army. Our objective: defeat Bunker Jonesy. There's no way that Bunker Jonesy is still out there, right? Well, yes, he is still out there. Oh, come on! Oh, oh, quick oh no. Yep, that's the bad news. He's still out there. So me and Astro Jack have designed a little plan to stop him from launching that rocket. Wait, so we're gonna time travel? Yeah, we are gonna time travel back to the moment when the first rocket launch happened, and that was season one. So we're gonna go back to season one? Mm-hmm, indeed. This is this sounds awesome. Bloop bloop bloop. All right, now he might be he might be getting ready to fight us. So because he now he now knows that we're coming. Uh, and how did he find out? Well, we sort of 
tested out our little transportation device, if you call it, and he spotted us. Of course, of course. So this is why we need to join forces and fight. Is that all good? Blue blue. You a sir? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Good. Now Astro Jack will provide you with all the details. Yellow shield. Fire on the hole. <laughs> You can all make it. Oh, yes, Joe Jack. What are you doing? Well, we're about to uh, launch the greatest plan possible. Experiment 106, aka the plan to ruin Bunker Jonesy's life. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We need to stop Bunker Jonesy from launching the rocket because if he does, then our entire reality would collapse. And by that, I mean. If the energy source contains too much energy, then our entire planet will explode. Now, here's a few things that I found about the BRB. The BRB's top speed is 250 kilometers an hour. Now, that's quite fast if you ask me. It's also not just a machine for eliminating contestants, but it's also known as an energy source that can be converted into portal power. So, here's what I'm thinking. If we can get the BRB to spin as fast as possible to produce enough energy to open up a portal, then Ice King can fire in a laser through it, and then the laser could go right through this portal and down onto the unknown energy source. That way, if the laser digs deep enough into it, we can begin the transfer and send us back to Season 1. Though it sounds like a very confusing plan. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on, guys! I'll explain it as we go. I hacked the BRB, so it should... If I do this, it should start to speed up. Oh, whoops, wrong button. This button. There we go. Yes, now it's, it's speeding up. Perfect, this is exactly what we want. Now, if we keep doing this for much longer, it will produce a heap of electric power. This is the good stuff, baby. How are those statuses looking, or whatever status? How is it looking, Ice King? It's looking quite good. Now, is the laser ready to be launched? Yep, indeed, sir. All right. Commencing phase two in three, two, one. There we go. Now, according to my calculations, the laser should appear through here, or it could appear from up there and split the island in half, but I'm a risk taker, so I'm going to take the risk. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's looking really good, and the island didn't collapse, so that's another positive. Also, I managed to get the stereo working. Now, Ice King, how's it looking? It looks like if the laser continues to get a bit deeper inside the unknown energy source, we should be able to travel to whatever dimension we want. That's exactly what we need. Alright, we're now commencing phase four. Okay, get coordinates set. Okay. All right, we should be good. Beginning phase very soon. 
now. How's it looking, Ice King? We shall now have the ability to travel to whatever timeline we want. Okay, everyone, open to the energy source. It's coming. It's becoming a little bit unstable, you know. Let's go. Where are we? We're here. Okay, so don't mind, you know, if you look a little bit glitched out. It's because we're in a different dimension. And this is the dimension when the first season was first made. Oh, I get it. So that's why we're a little, like, a little pixelated and stuff. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I might have miscalculated about the planes and stuff. He now knows that we're here. <laughs> Great. But, 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 not to worry. I have a backup plan like as usual. Okay, then. What's the plan? Here's what I'm thinking. If I could distract Bunker Jonesy while he's, like, you know, doing his whole shenanigans down there, and you guys can destroy the shield around the outside of the rocket, then we should be able to destroy it. It will also open up a portal and send us back where he came from. Oh, he spotted me. Now guys, go! Hurry up and get into the next four storm wings and get to work! Off we go to save the day! Watch out for the IO guards! Whoa! Why did I know that Bunky Jonesy made them invisible? Well, apparently he did. Do as much damage to that shield as possible. You go at it. All right, you destroyed the first shield. There's two more bubbles, I think. I don't know. And how sudden are you? Well. Quite sad, actually. Alright, nice work, guys. You only have one more bubble to destroy. It's kinda getting a bit, you know, windy in here, so be careful. This will finish off the job. Okay, maybe not. Yes! Okay, guys. Get ready because the rocket's about to explode! 